Hey everybody, Dr. A here, and in this video, we are going to be exploring an example of axial deformation. So in the given material, we are told to derive the elastic deformation formula for an axially loaded bar segment with constant loading, cross-section area, and Young's modulus. So this is a derivation example, and again, we have a single segment with all constant properties, okay? So let's go ahead and write solution. And, um, you know, whenever you're not given a figure, you want to draw something out. So um, under our solution, we're going to draw out what uh, this could look like. So we have this bar segment that will have some length L, and we have some kind of constant loading on it. Um, we can call that, you know, constant internal load P. And then, of course, uh, it has constant material properties and section properties of of uh, A and E, okay? So very simple bar segment. So we wanna derive that formula um, for a single segment PL over AE. So let's begin with some material property relations that we know from our previous knowledge. Let's consider the following. We're gonna say begin with Hooke's law. What does Hooke's law say? Uh, for axial loads, Hooke's Law says you can say stress is equal to Young's modulus times um, strain. So average normal stress equals modulus elasticity times average normal strain. Now we need to um, utilize the definitions of average normal stress and average normal strain. So we're going to say the definition of average normal stress is going to be sigma equals here let's be more specific we'll say uh, definition of average normal stress is sigma equals force divided by cross-section area and then we'll say definition of average normal strain is epsilon equals Defer deformed length deformation over original length, okay? So now look what we can do. We can substitute the term of P over A into the left side of uh, Hooke's Law's equation, and then we can substitute um, the definition of strain, delta over L, into the right side of Hooke's Law's equation. So what we can end up having here is by substitution, we can say P over A equals E times delta over L. And then, of course, we can say rearranging. We can get delta equals PL over AE and thus it has been shown. So um, this is a, a quick algebraic derivation of, um, of axial deformation using the definition of Hooke's Law, average normal stress, and average normal strain. Thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe.